this election will be rigged. These are the words of Zimbabwe's Prime Minister Morgan Changirai. He spoke while launching his campaign against President Robert Mugabe. Changirai, who made a failed attempt to have the July 31st election delayed, said Mugabe's ZANU-PF party was using bureaucratic obstacles and tricks to try to hold on to power. We are faced with an election without reforms and against a leopard that has remained faithful to its spots. But our faith in God and our collective desire for real transformation will make us triumph over the setbacks we have experienced. The July poll is Changirai's third attempt to unseat Mugabe. The two were forced into a power-sharing deal after the last disputed polls in 2008. However, Changirai told youth members of his Movement for Democratic Change party that they should not get their hopes up. Mugabe, Mugabe, let the think that they will win it. But in the face of unfree and unfair conditions, I don't think the forthcoming election will be legitimate. It doesn't matter who wins. Despite concerns over the election, youth members at the rally said they were very optimistic. I think we are going to win the election resoundingly. MDCT is going to win. This is our year. This is the yes. time we've been waiting for. Morgan Changra is going to win this election. And come August 2018, we are going to be in the new government. Changirai's MDC wanted to delay the election until mid-August to allow more time to prepare a smooth vote free of the deadly violence that marred the 2008 polls. The Zimbabwean Prime Minister has been pressing for access to state media for all political parties and cast iron guarantees that security forces will not meddle in politics. Zimbabwean political analyst Ibo Mandaza said it may not provide any meaningful change but could mean a lot for the country. On the one hand, it's a typical election, but on the other hand, it's uh, Zimbabwe likes saying this, this is election of the century, the election of the century, uh, uh, likely to be a contentious election, a highly contested one, with many, many ramifications. Political analysts say another contested result could interrupt impoverished Zimbabwe's recovery from a decade of economic decline that has forced hundreds of thousands to flee the southern African country. Carol Oyola, CCTV.